So I'm guessing that if you click on this video, you understand that webinars can be powerful for growing your list and even making sales. But how do you promote that webinar and get as many people on there as possible? No worries, in this video, I'll walk you through a very simple way to make it happen. So let's do it. Hello, 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 and welcome to Leslie Samuel TV, where I help bloggers master the tech they need to create awesome content. If you haven't already, make sure to hit that subscribe button and tap that bell icon to be notified whenever I have something new for you. All right, so webinars can be great for growing your email list, but here's the thing. To do a webinar generally takes a number of things. First, you need a webinar service. That can cost anywhere from 50 to hundreds or even thousands of dollars every month, depending on how many people you want to be able to attend. And then the problem is that most of these services don't you know, have a very nice landing page to get people to sign up. Now, this can be a huge headache to make sure it's all set up where you can get them to sign up, get them on your list, and then use your email marketing service to increase the chances that they'll actually show up. Fortunately, I'm gonna show you a, a very simple way to set up a webinar funnel with all the essential elements using a total of one service. Yeah, I said one service. And that service is provided by the sponsor of this video, GetResponse. They just launched their auto funnel service, which will allow you to do everything you need to do to set up uh, and promote your webinar. And the good news is that if you use the link becomeablogger.com slash get response, or just click on the link in the description below, you'll get 10% off for life. Okay, let me show you how to set this up. So I'm in my get response account right now, and I'm gonna go up here and click on menu and click on auto funnels. We're gonna zoom in a little bit. Uh, from there, let's click on this create a funnel button. Now this is where I get to set up my funnel. I'm gonna give this a name which in this case is going to be a uh, blogging business webinar then I'm gonna select this option of course to promote a webinar so let's click that and this is where you get to tell uh, get response whether it's a free or paid webinar which is gonna give you a few different options for now I'm gonna go with a free webinar so now let's enter a title in this case I'm gonna say how to build a business with a blog. From there, I can add some of the basic settings by clicking on here. You can choose a date and time for the webinar. I'm gonna go ahead and select for next Thursday, and I'm gonna put this here at six, uh, let's go with PM. I like to do my webinars on Thursdays because I'm able to spend Monday through Thursday promoting the webinar to get as many people uh, as possible to actually sign up. Now this is where you can set a lobby message or you can type in an agenda. Basically, when people show up live and before the webinar actually starts, this is the info they're gonna see. So for now, I'll put something simple like, get ready for some awesome tips on how to build a business with a blog. Now, of course, I can choose uh, the default thank you page uh, to send people at when they register. I'm gonna go ahead and stick with the default, but you can also go with a specific landing page you created with GetResponse, or even enter a custom URL. We're keeping it simple, so, I'm gonna go here and save this step. And as you can see, uh, there's this green check mark letting me know that I'm ready to go with the basic settings. Now let's go to the registration and subscription settings. This will show you which email list people are gonna get added to. And of course, that email list in this case is blogging business webinar. Now this is one of the benefits of using a platform like GetResponse because since everything is right here, you can have them easily added to your email list. It's a beautiful thing. Now this is an option that I definitely recommend turning on. You want to remind people about the webinar and give them an easy way to join. So I will usually turn this on and make sure to send you know, a reminder an hour before and also one day before. You can decide what makes sense for you. And then I will click on apply. Now right here, you can choose a template. Uh, I'm gonna go with this one here. You can choose one that matches your design or your branding the closest. Also, just to point this out, you can also add GDPR fields to your registration form. I'm not gonna do that because this, that's not the topic for this video, but you can find out more about how to do that by clicking here. For now, I'm gonna click on save this step. Verify that the green check mark is there showing that all is well, and then let's click on create. 
Now it's time to create a sign up page to get people to sign up for your webinar. And since GetResponse also has landing pages, you can do that right here. So let's click on create a sign up page. And rather than you know creating one from scratch, let's go ahead and select webinars here. And you can see that they have a, a number of different templates. Now you can choose any template that you want, but I rather start with something that was specifically made for webinar. And actually, I like this first one here. It says uh, five coaching mistakes to avoid. Now I'm not doing coaching mistakes, but I can use this template and modify it to suit my needs. Now, just as a side note, this auto funnel feature is brand new and you can expect to see more templates added over time. So for now, I'll select this template and then I'll give it a name. And in this case, I'm going to call it a blogging business webinar and then click on next step. And now this creepy little monster is going to do its job. And now it's asking me which webinar it's for. I have the right webinar selected. So I'm going to click on add webinar and then now I can customize so much about this page and I'm not going to show you everything, but if you want to know more about how to customize landing pages, I'll link to a video in the info cards about that. For now, let me show you a few of the main things. First off, to change any of the text, you can just double click on it right there and change it. So like here, I can say instead of your coaching business, I could say blogging. Also, I'm going to scroll down here uh, to the countdown timer. Of course, I want to select this and customize that. So I'm going to go ahead and tap on that and click on customize. Then I'll select the date and time. So that was next Thursday at six o'clock PM. And then I will click on save and that's it. Now, obviously you can go ahead and customize anything else you want. But the next thing I'm going to do is scroll up here to the top. I just want to show you that you do have the option of adding a pop up by double clicking right here. And this will be a pop up that comes up when people go to leave your page or you can actually uh, customize it or choose a different kind of pop up right now. It's set at exit intent, which means when they're leaving, they'll see it. It's a really cool tool that's been built into the landing page builder because I found that whenever I add a pop up, I get more sign up. So if you're trying to get as many people People on your list as possible or to attend your webinar as possible, I highly recommend using this feature. Now, I also want to show you really quick that you can come up here to the thank you page and then you can customize it in the same way like you did with the sign up page. And once you're done, you can come over here and click on next step. This is going to take you to the sign up page settings. And this is where you can edit the title, add a description and set a few other details. For now, I'll scroll to the bottom and click on publish. Once you've done this, it's time to add your emails. Remember, your goal here is to thank them for registering as well as tease the value they'll be getting on the live webinar. So let's click right here on create an email. We're going to give it a name and subject. I'll name it thanks for registering. And for the subject, let's go with your blogging business webinar. Then I'll click on next step. Now, once again, I want to go ahead and use a webinar template. So I'm going to select webinars here and I'll choose this first one here because it matches the style of the landing page I created. So I'm going to click on use template. And here we go. The monster has done his job and I can customize everything about this email. Now, once again, I won't show this actual process, but you know, just make sure to come in here and change it to whatever makes sense for your business. Now you want to do whatever is possible to get them to show up. So you can use your email sequence to do that. You can provide them with a free gift or uh, that offers value or just tease the benefits of what they'll be able to do after attending your awesome webinar. All right, let's go ahead and click on next step. And there you have it. You can see it's loaded my email. Thanks for registering and we're good to go. Okay, last thing, you're doing the webinar and the attendees love you. Now it's time to wrap it up. What happens next? Well, you send them to a page thanking them for participating. Let's click right here to create a thank you page and then select this one right here that goes with the one that we've been using just for consistency. Let's give it a name. I'll call this thank you. And of course, click on next step.
And just like before, you can customize this. Now, I like how they have this page as a simple way of kind of recapping the major points covered in the webinar. I, th I think this is just beautiful. If I were doing this webinar to maybe promote a product, I would make sure to have this link to that product. So go ahead and customize this page and then click on next step. And then I'm gonna go ahead and publish this page. And just like that, you have a webinar funnel that's all set up. And now that you have it set up, you can use this URL right here to promote, you know, to your email list or social media or anywhere you want. And on this one screen, it'll show you everything from how many people visited your landing page uh, to the sign up rates and, and how many people use the exit intent pop up, the open rates for your emails, how many people attended the webinar, and your overall success rate for getting people through the over overall funnel. Now, of course, these features are only available if you're using GetResponse, our sponsor for this video. But the good news is that you can get 10% off for life by going to becomeablogger.com slash GetResponse. That's pretty much it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked it, make sure to check out this video over here where I dive deeper into how to customize your landing pages. And of course, hit that subscribe button and tap that bell icon so that I can help you master the tech you need to create awesome content. My name is Leslie Samuel and until next time, take care and God bless.